Hello, everyone. I'm just straight started, ain't it? <laughs> so we decided to have a little lunch date and just talk about life itself. So I thought about Arnisha because I met Arnisha, what, a couple years ago? About two years. About two years ago, and I seen, like, a major transition just that fast. So I thought about it this morning. I was like, hmm, Arnisha would be a good person to talk to because I noticed that she progressed over the years. And the reason I call her Arnisha is because I noticed there's a difference between Arnisha and me. <laughs> so, so Arnisha, mm -hmm. what made you progress? Like over a short period of time, sometimes it takes people years to get where you're getting or going. So what is it that made you want to, you know, like just not be nitty all the time? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, it did take me more than two years before Medell met me. I was actually working on myself. But I think what really did it was me progressing as a mother. As a mother, you don't want to be in the streets reacting to certain stuff. You don't, that stuff you don't want your kids to grow up seeing. So when I had kids, I finally felt like, like, our nature is time for you to get right. We, okay. Yeah, and, and there's nothing wrong with Nitty, but sometimes Nitty need to be put up. It's not all about that. So that's mainly why I decided to progress because I felt like. Being a mother was more important than being nitty. Right. So what is nitty? When you say nitty, like, who is nitty? What was nitty? Nitty is like, nitty don't care. Like, nitty gets in the attitude where she's like, okay, I said this, I said that. It is what it is. You want to fight me or what? Oh, God. Yeah. So it's like a fight. It, it just, it is it's what like it is. It's like a fight. Nitty's like a ticking time bomb. Oh, God. Well, I'm just glad I met Arnisha. <laughs> Okay, so a lot of us, I think, have like a ticking time bomb in us. Right. It's just like what triggers it. Right. You get what I'm saying? So what are some of your triggers that you wouldn't even want to put yourself in that situation to allow it to be triggered? Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so before I changed, of course, I was very, very, very messy on Facebook. Like, really? I used to tell everybody this. <gasps> I used to set Okay, up. so Tamika's in the background doing this. <laughs> so when you say tell people business, like you just... You I was a tea sipper. I was a tea sipper. Anything I came across in my inbox, I put it out and open on Facebook. Oh, God. I used to set up fights. I used really? to a lot of messy stuff. So with that being said, and I hate to ask you this, but do people still have like ill feelings towards you because maybe you set up a fight with them or they, they already grown as well? Or you just don't interact with those I mean, a lot of people that I used to deal with, I kind of fell back from after the tea sipping situation. I but I mean, I know at at some points I knew it was wrong. Some points I knew it was wrong, but at the same time I didn't care. But then it got real ugly when people used to come at me and talk about my kids. Really? So, and that used to burn me. Like I used to So we're going to be like, eating while we're talking. I'm sorry. <laughs> I used to be like, so oh. talk about your kids. Yeah, it got to a point where, yeah, it was cool for people that thought it was funny, but like they say, when when a joke is on you, you don't like it. Right. So oh. yeah, it was, it was all good and funny games when, when you were doing it. I was doing it, but then when people start coming at me sideways and we started arguing, and they right. brought my kids into it. I just go. You had to take a look back. Yeah. And like, okay, this. Yeah. I was mad, but then at the same time. I kind of understood because it's like, you know, you do this to the other people. Yeah. So, so that's growth. That's another you reason You get what I'm why. saying? Yeah. Admitting it and realizing what you do to other people and what it's done to you don't feel good. Right. So that's, that's, right. that's what's going right. And then it had a lot to do with my boyfriend. He got tired of me being in the mess and stuff. And I felt like... Because that puts him in it? Some, yeah, somewhat. Because, you know, those are kids too. Yeah. So, yeah. somebody talking about his kids, he feels offended. And he's not that type of person. And I felt like when it got to the point where it was in, it was affecting my relationship, it had then to, you had to, to, had to, let, to, let, to let it go. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. And I think that pretty much sums it up. I know this was a quick segment, but we have to eat. Arnisha waiting on her food. <laughs> but I think that's fair to say, and that proves growth right there when you realize what you're doing to somebody else, you wouldn't want it done to you. Right. So you change it. So I think that's all, that really sums it up. Anything yeah. you want to say, anything else, any, you could probably feel like a waste. Well, I know if, I can do it, y'all can do it. So whoever out there, you're trying to grow, you know you want to grow, keep working towards it. Don't stop. Just keep going. And it's you a might, work in progress. Right. It's very much so a work in progress. You're going to have some time where you want to revert back to the person you was, but just look at it like this. There's a way bigger picture than out here fighting and trying to prove your point to these streets. 
you got a lot of stuff you're trying to do with your life, so don't mess it up just by being hot headed. Yeah. And another quick question I just thought about. Um like being that you have grown, does that stop you from hanging or dealing with certain people? I did do you, do you separate yourself from certain certain people, yes. Certain situations, yes. Like there was one point in time where Somebody called me like, oh, we about to go fight. I'm going. I'm ready. Oh, regardless if they had nothing to do with you or right, not. You right, right. That's my rider. I'm riding. Oh, wow. Yeah, so yeah. now it's just like when I get the phone call, I'll be like, listen, just calm down. They don't got nothing to lose. You got a lot to lose. I just think they like that side of you, though? I'm not uh, sure. I mean, I've lost a lot of people. Oh, but then okay. I've had a lot of people that told me, like my brother Smitty, my boyfriend, my friend Bree. Mm-hmm. We could even like a lot of people were saying nitty like we get it we know you but you don't have to always react like that okay so well, those are the mean as good people to have in your corner right. because they enticing you to do bad and yeah. right 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 yeah. so I do that's good that's fair and I honestly like new me so and I love the new her <laughs> I like the old her but I will always come and be like you were nitty to me <laughs> so she's grown so if y'all friends with our new shirt I know she have a lot of them. She's a great person to be inspired by. You know, she's just a, a, a well-groomed person. And she's doomed for greatness. Is that right? Doomed for greatness? <laughs> I, I don't think I said it right. Doomed for greatness. Destined. Or she's destined for greatness. <laughs> <laughs> well, until next time, people, anything else you have to say? Any questions for me? You good? Good. All right, we got the grub. Till next time. Bye, y'all. Uh-huh.